Hi there, this is going to be a longer tutorial. Today we're going to create something like this. So, basically creating a 3D planet without any 3D skills required. First I'm going to add a random picture of stars. I'm going to use a flat map of the moon. Just google planet map, flat map or whatever and you'll find plenty of options. Go to effects and presets and choose CC sphere. Boom! You're basically done. In the effect you can adjust rotation, size and lighting. So you could just add some keyframes and be done with it from this point. Let's add some glow because, you know, Hollywood. Alpha channel. Go to color looping. The second sawtooth will do. Play around a bit with threshold, radius and intensity until we're happy cappy. I'm gonna change the tint of the color A to match the brightest spot on the moon. So now we got a 3D moon. Well, sort of. Now to the more advanced stuff. Start by making the layers 3D. Create a camera. When using the camera tool, you'll see that the sphere isn't actually 3D. Before I start messing with the moon, I'm gonna put a little distance between the moon and the stars. 10,000 maybe. Scale it up a bit. Now we have some distance between the moon and the stars. Select the moon layer, go to effect, go to rotation, hold down the alt key and click on the keyframe buttons. In the description below of this video there's three lines of expression codes that you're going to copy paste for each rotation. Copy paste for the X rotation, copy paste for the Y rotation and yes, copy paste for the Z rotation. Right click on the moon layer, go to transform, auto orient, choose orient towards camera, you know where this is going. What do you know, it's fantastic 3D! Let's change the distance to the stars to about 6000. Now when the sphere acts like a 3D layer, I want to remove the shadowy part. Change light height to 100%. Mess a bit with the ambient until it's neutral looking. Now we can add lights. I'm going to use a spotlight. Move it around a bit to see what happens. I'm going to change the cone angle so it covers a smaller area. The stars shouldn't be affected by the light source. So we go to the layers material options. Accept shadows, off. Accept lights, off. The space is too bright, so I'll add some levels. Add some hue saturation to make it more saturated, I guess. I don't know, something like that. Let's add some camera movement. Moving forward a bit. I want the light to reveal the moon. I don't know, go nuts with it. You can make a sphere out of anything. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please click on the SFT logo and subscribe if you haven't done it already. Hey!